Here at Rockland, we develop antibodies, immunoassays, and research tools to support scientists around the globe. We offer our expertise to solve problems in life sciences, and we are committed to advance the life sciences to foster a better world. Our cell culture capabilities include the generation of hybridoma cell lines for the production of monoclonal antibodies, but it also includes the maintenance of a fairly large collection of human cell lines and mouse cell lines that we use for the validation of our antibodies by different immunoassays, including Western blot, immunoprecipitation, immunofluorescence, and flow cytometry. These cell lines can be also used for cell viability assays, cell migration assays, or even potency assays for the characterization of drug compounds. We can also use these cell lines to study gene function by or expressing or down-regulating the expression of target genes, and we use similar approaches for the expression of recombinant proteins using transient transfection of viral transduction. So this room is actually dedicated to our monoclonal antibody development. Our testing techniques involve proving reactivity of a clone towards an assay. That assay we use is ELISA, which is governed by strict SOPs and strict protocols. Isotyping is another assay to confirm this. We do isotyping to confirm single clone to single antibody being produced, and we will go ahead and subclone this clone multiple times to ultimately deem its monoclonality. There are guidelines in place for each step of the process from the communication with the project managers and the clients all the way down to the technician. Technicians solely take on these projects, having the information from project management, from our clients, in order to successfully take a monoclonal from point A to the end of completion, individually taking care of each clone throughout. From the monoclonal development suite, selected clones by the customer will be pushed into production suite where they will be cultured, expanded, banked in different volume sizes for different antibody production growths. Our cell culture team is flexible and we are able to do various amounts of volumes of antibody production growth, ranging anywhere from a half liter all the way up to 100 liters plus, specifically for our catalog items like Trublot, which is a monoclonal secondary antibody that we sell. The roller bottle process typically takes around six to eight weeks from initial cell line thaw all the way through culture supernatant harvest into concentration. The proteinaceous supernatant that's collected from our production suite is then concentrated down to a 10x or 20x volume for the purification steam for them to have a highly concentrated smaller volume sample to pour over their protein columns. We do this via tangential flow filtration which uses a column with hollow fiber capillaries that will separate out the antibody from the latter. We often check the efficiency of our column capillaries by running a BSA check on them to make sure we're not depleting any antibody protein when we're doing our production runs. All those skills and abilities that our highly trained staff of scientists perform for our catalog products, we make available to researchers on a contract or custom basis, not just performing academic research, but for diagnostic and preclinical therapeutic purposes as well. We take time to really understand how that antibody is going to be deployed, for what purpose, how long of a lifespan of a reagent do they need, how does it need to be validated, what is the best immunogen to be used. All of those things are, are factored in and we produce ultimately an antibody that we can then deploy if that's what the researcher would want. We could collect data with that antibody and provide not just the antibody, but the data in a complete package.